Hi everybody, RV Debs here. It is uh, Tuesday. I am out to go to Walmart and take care of uh, all the much needed supplies I need. Um, and that's what I'm doing. Yep, it's a beautiful day. It's 90 degrees. Um, I don't think it's going to get any warmer than that, which is good. It's a nice pattern. It's like now we're in a regular, normal summer. Lows in the 70s, high 90. Maybe 92. So we're not going to get those crazy weather. The crazy hot weather. But it's a pleasant day. so tired. I don't know about you, but after I get out of a Walmart, I'm exhausted. And then I have to put everything away, and it's 93 degrees, and that's not the fun thing. But I am done. Stuff in the back. Tired. Getting older by the minute. <laughs> See you later. Okay. Happy girl. Let's find some shade. Very comfortable bench. There's always shade. Very warm, but mild, really. Beautiful blue skies. A lot of birds returning. Those are green parrots flying around. You can hear them. I see them, too. I know you can't see them because they're very little green parrots and they're flying around. There's one. Wow. Well, this is my shaved ribeye. I got onions and mushrooms. I got some uh, Monterey Jack with jalapeno peppers and a nice sub roll, and I'm making my own Philly cheesesteak. That's it, dinner tonight. Hi everyone, RV Tubs here. It's a beautiful day. Nice and breezy, mild, loving it. Now we're still about 80, 82, something like that. Perfect, really. Birds are singing today. Love it. Good morning, everybody. At least it's morning here, anyway. Hello, everybody. This is RV Debs, and I'm at the dog park. A usual thing I do, especially on Sunday, because I have my golf cart. 
I only get it on Sunday and Monday. So I take advantage of it. It's fun. It's definitely mild. We had a little bit of rain earlier. It said that there might be rain in the next like 30 minutes. <laughs> so I thought I'd bring Lily to the park before it does that. So it's about, I don't know what the temperature, maybe 80, 82. It's a little humid because of the rain, but it's a little bit of a nice breeze. No complaints. It's peaceful. Except for cars. Just doing a round around the park. Nice bike. Getting a little more filled up. Yeah, Laverne is back. That's Laverne. There. Very cool. Well, now I gotta go make some iced tea for tonight's potluck. Hi, everybody. RV Deb's here, and I'm headed to drop my laundry off. Whoops. Oops. This thing's not on real good anymore. I'm gonna drop my laundry off. Then I'm going to go to the Mexican grocery store to buy some of the things that they that I buy there, which is usually um, uh, any of the, the meats, because it's got like this great meat counter, the biggest one I've seen. Good everything, really. And they have good veggies and fruit. And then oh, really anything you need. It's not exactly a regular grocery, but as far as Mexican groceries, they got everything. So, that is the plan. I wanted to talk about uh, the last video I put out. I just put a no-nonsense direct to the laptop, no editing, and I talked about being a senior orphan in, this, in our society today. I really think it's a lot of people, a big, a big group that have lost their, uh, their family members, their husbands or wives, and in friendships uh, some people have died and there's very few really I mean anyone when you get to a certain age not everybody's like that but um it's a bummer because I've always been very very friendly and had lots of friends and, and family members and enjoyed gatherings and, and uh, people always you know, with, just always with people. Was with my best friends. I traveled all over with Kathy for 20 years, doing art shows and craft shows and Renaissance fairs. Um, my husband and I traveled and, and were together. It, you know, I, I miss, I miss it, but there's nothing I can do about it. All I can do is be happy that I'm getting older and that I didn't die young and that I'm, I've got Every day, you know, as a gift, I feel pretty good. Um, I just have to get used to the facts that I have to take care of myself pretty much all the way. You know, I have noticed in life, though, that usually you may not get everything you want, but you get what you need. Like, if you need to find somebody to help you lift something or, you know, I don't know, little things, I could probably find someone to help me at the park. It's nice to live in a place where there are so a lot of other people sharing life in the in our resort which is nice and there is people that will help it's not the same as family it's not the same as a lifelong best friend no 
but it, it's there. I just have to, sometimes, you know, it gets to you and you don't, you don't really feel close to anybody. You'd hate to have to ask somebody. I have to fix this. You hate to have to ask people for help. You know, especially someone that you've only known a year or two. And, you know, it's not like a lifelong, deep friendship. We just have to uh, learn to, you know, find help when we really, really need it. Otherwise, taking care of it ourselves or not doing whatever it is. I wish I had someone to help me, you know, empty the shed out and, and, and taking the bins and help me go through stuff and bringing up what I want, taking down stuff. Because that's a lot of energy that I, I don't have. But um, I know I'll get to it a little bit at a time. That's one of the reasons I haven't really been doing art. It's just the, the effort it takes. I've got to move things around when you live in an RV, only 30 feet, 30 feet of life. It's hard. And I don't have the oomph. That's, that's what I'm missing, is that oomph that I almost always have had to get things done. Now I do the bare necessities, really. Okay. Anyway, I'm gonna go in and take my laundry in. They weigh it. And uh, I pay them. So here we are at Aguilera's Meat Market. Steak night. Here's Jim. He's alive and well. <laughs> Outside, everybody's cooking. You can see. There's Laverne. Western That's the name. Take a seat. I'll be right back. Hi, Steph. Hi. How are you? I know, six months. <laughs> All kinds of stuff extra tonight. Thanks to Kathy there. She is the wizard in the kitchen. <clears throat> but you have seasoning so you can get your meat or your chicken or whatever. Season it up. Some yummy garlic bread. We got extra stuff tonight. Fantastic potatoes. What are these things not staying? There they are. Hey. Hi. Hi, Deanna. Spare beans. Let me have a hug. <laughs> oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> How are you, Your hair looks pretty. Thank you. I like it like that. I like it short too. Yeah, it's it was good for summer for sure, and it's still good. Oh, it was hot here, wasn't it? Not as bad as last year. A little protein. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is the dinner. I know it's huge. It looks good to me, though. Hi, Enid. There's steak over there. <laughs> anyway, that's what's going on. Steak nights on Friday. Okay. Ready? Oh, it's sunny today. How's everybody? It's a beautiful day, very warm. Oops, wow. Look at the clouds and the gorgeous blue sky. That's the kind of day it is.
Well, I am going to go get some water. My jug's filled with water in a little bit. Get ready for working tomorrow and Monday. I hope you enjoyed the video and give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't. I've got lots of playlists full of videos. I believe I've done over 1,600 videos in eight years. <laughs> so anyway, thanks for watching and be happy. Talk to you very soon.